This is a PlayStation game. We're playing a lot of PlayStation, because, you know, that's what we're into. So we're gonna go on a safari. Got a Kappa. Safari Tokyo. Here we are. So this is a, um, yeah, as you can see, disc one. This is a two disc game. And we're gonna be playing with uh, assistance of translation. Chisato Moritaka Safari Tokyo. Now, of course, just because we're playing with uh, translation doesn't mean it's gonna be easy voice translations I can't do on the fly. But this is, uh, well, I guess we're gonna find out what kind of game this is. As you can see, it looks sort of like a point-and-click adventure. But um, this is actually a type of game that you don't really see anymore. Uh, it's, it's like a, it's like a mini-game collection. And so here, we, <laughs> I, I know everything's just coming at you so fast. Here, what we've done is we've selected the first mini game. Um, so this says uh, Tokyo Tower, or so Tokyo Drum Tower. Yeah, Drum Tower. Yeah. So we have three songs to choose from. We're gonna do all of them. Fly Man. Let's play Fly Man. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll try to get 100%. Well, we're failing our 100% now. I don't know if we get anything for lot of indication of what we're doing except for they'll light up if we hit it and they won't light up if we don't. 82. Not horrible, not great. Bravo! Bravo. And that's really the only indication we get. Um, we just get a little video clip at the end. Click the drums. That's all we can do here. Have her animate. Uh, if we want to back out, we have to press s start plus select. It's a little bit strange. I mean, look at the song title here. But that's fine. Oh my god, are we missing all of those? Not great.
Yeah. Not the best rhythm game ever. And we can't just fudge our way through. Proper no no notation either. I mean, not that we would expect it to be, but those double lines indicate a repeat. And, you know, those bars are not repeated, so probably did not do so well on this one. 69. All right. I'll take it. So not so great. And that song was called um, Nice Birthday, apparently. This one is called uh, To Our Lovers. Let's take a look. It's already. Timing on this is so weird. <laughs> uh, rock band player, I am not. Timing is also not quite on the beat of the song. This is not helping. Uh, thankfully short. Even worse than before. 65. Well, yeah, so you can sort of see a little bit of what this game is like. We've got some FMVs, some sort of uh, drawn backgrounds, and like, it's, it's kind of weird, like video of live actress Playing mini games uh, seems to be what this is. So we're gonna keep looking, uh, looking around, I guess. Uh, we can collect those animals in the bottom left, but I'm a little scared to do that. So we might hold off on that one. Let's try the refrigerator. Ah, uh, Ate our ice cream. <laughs> so we're gonna kill it. Shooting. All right, we have a shooting mini game. Um, what kind of shooting mini game? Well, we're gonna we're gonna find out. Uh, so this says memory hunter. Listen and repeat. So it's um, gray and purple. And blue. 
I'm gonna remember by the poster, to be honest. Purple's the second one. These songs are so varied that you have to imagine these are real artists, like real clips of real songs. They don't sound too bad, the songs go. Might be interesting to listen to these uh, albums. Oh, crap, purple? No. That was gray. So, in terms of being a memory hunter, I'm not the best. And now we're. Forget everything that we heard. Red, and then Christmas. And then whatever that is. Why is she standing on a pizza? I can't really tell you. So this one I'm not as awful at, at least, as compared to the first game. I don't really know if there's an end. I'm afraid that there might not be. Because I'm not very good at this game. This one? Nice. Jinga de Bede. Oh no. Now, the downside of being good at the game is that we're gonna play it more. Probably until we lose. I don't really know what the conditions are for losing either.
Nope, it's uh, it's gone. I've forgotten already <laughs> which one this was. Was that? No. <laughs> no, I don't. I just don't remember. Now, for whatever reason, it just keeps going. So, I guess I'm gonna get a score at some point. Oh, it's making me try again. I, you know, I, I don't really want to try again, though. Can I, can I continue from level 3 if I return here? I don't know. All I can tell you is that... Uh, I'm not that interested in continuing that. Oh. So, touching the table opens up this, whatever this is. We can do vegetarian made on my birthday. Summer medley or rock and roll prefectural office location. Of course, we're going to do vegetarian made on my birthday. Oh. Edit? Groovy. This is giving me vibes of the Yellow Monkey transmission. It, it's making me wonder, is this actually like a band? And this is some kind of game that represents different songs that they've made? So it's matching our camera changes. Um, cool. I guess. We can do another music video. This song is apparently called My Summer Fly Man Medley. Unlike the Yellow Monkey transmission, we can't add a distortion to the videos though, which makes it a little bit less interesting. We'll take a look at the third one because, you know, completion's sake.
This is the Rock and Roll Prefectural Office location. And I guess, you know, now that I'm noticing, this game is called Moritaka Chisato Safari Tokyo. So perhaps this is from the lead singer, Moritaka Chisato. It's possible. It's the vibe I'm getting. Her style is, um, it's acceptable. This is obviously a very classical, uh, you know, rock and roll kind of sound. Doesn't really show off her stuff. But, you know, if all those other clips that we've heard are different songs by her, then, you know, she has a decent range of different types of music. This is kind of interesting. All right, let's go to the dreaded animal game. So we're in trouble here. So I've seen there's about three mini games. I guess four if you count the video editing. And unfortunately, Highway Safari is, um, well, it's a problem. The big problem is I don't know how to play it. And I'm wondering, am I supposed to like button mash or or what? Am I supposed to hold buttons? Yes, dumb. I can certainly press start and select to exit the minigame. But beyond that, uh, your guess is as good as mine. So I can press O. Other than that initial push, so I press O, I press triangle, I press square, press X, press L1, R1. L2, R2, R stick, L stick, uh, select, start. No, I can rapidly press buttons. I can do semicircles and quarter circles. They're not moving. If I do nothing, eventually we run out of time and we just lose. And then this fellow becomes part of the ground. Um, yeah. I gotta say, uh, I'm a little at a loss. If I alternate, oh, if I alternate L1 and R1, then we do seem to be running. Okay. Those are the buttons that I have to alternate. I was trying like X and O, but it didn't do anything. And we're going at max speed here. So I think we're good. I wonder if 
I can go faster than that. Because that obviously was not fast enough to win the game. Even though our speed looked like it was maxed out. All right, we'll give, we'll give it another try. Now that I know how the game works, I mean, <laughs> before I was really worried. I don't know why they represent time by food. It's, I mean, they could just use a clock. What? Why are they slowing down? try the giraffe. The other thing we're gonna do, because I'm a cheater, I'm not afraid to be a cheater where, where it's necessary. I'm gonna slow down the game a little bit. So I can be guaranteed to play this a little bit faster. Oh my god, yeah. The game actually lags when those uh, yaks come on screen. That's a problem. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing, but the game is possibly be happening in this game that's five sprites on screen that's causing it to lag. What? Now we're underwater? And now we're stuck? So we made it underwater. This is strange. Well, I won't be defeated. We're gonna try to have, like, semi-perfect button presses. And in order to do this, unfortunately, we're slowing down the game a little bit. It's gonna cause a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of sound distortion, but that's okay. You know, we're just riding a lion, riding through Tokyo, as you do. There's like a tree and some giraffes or something. It's probably important um, to the story of this game. Does this game really have a story though? It's a good question. Normally I might mute the game uh, when doing this, but you know, you can suffer just like I am. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm actually going to mute it. We're, we're going to mute that because it's really obnoxious. Um, but we are, you are going to hear the clicking of my controller as I 
button mash as fast as I can at like two button presses per second. It's about as much as I can manage because uh, I just don't care. I got some flamingos, some water. There's some dead cows for some reason that lag the game entirely. I, I cannot tell you why. Like when those cows come on the screen, they slow down our lion. Is it because he's hungry? We have to play a non-carnivore in order to get past the uh, the cows. Is, is that the object of the game? This is very bizarre. You know, back in the 90s, I feel like people didn't really have an idea of what video games were supposed to be, especially CD-based video games. You know, you have all this space for music and video and photos of real people that you just didn't have before. And, you know, people sort of tried some different kind of things, and this is one of them. And mostly they just were bad. <laughs> <laughs> and so here we are experiencing something that's, you know, it's obviously bad, but it's different. Yeah, our lion cannot swim. No matter. Wait, can we swim? Oh, we have to use like L L two R two in order to swim, or I have no idea what's happening. We're somehow swimming. We're moving. I just don't know how. Well, even at the slowest pace, we weren't really able to get through it. We see a Kappa. And I feel like this has to be the final screen. All right, maybe we can try the zebra. Will Zebra have an easier time with the water? I don't know why the Zebra is distracted by the Yaks. even faster than normal to get through here. Because it's so laggy, that's what's the problem. It's just lag. Yeah, that seems to be it. Here there's no problem at all. 
I don't know why the water is so laggy, to be honest. It's ridiculous. Wow. Was it worth it? No. <laughs> but in summary, no, it was not worth it. It's kind of surprising how many minigames uh, in the 90s were just mash the buttons as fast as possible. Um, so it seems like winning the minigames doesn't actually do anything. So, I mean, what else can we do? Well, uh, one thing we can do is we can switch discs, because like I said, this is a two-disc game. And, uh, there's certainly a way I could, how do I do this? Oh, just give me a moment. Yeah, let's find that second disc. And then let's flip over. Couldn't really figure out a way to switch during the game. Uh. I guess here here is something. looks like a uh, Smash Mouth music video. It's got that 90s filter on it. Is that some classic board game there? 
That is like a 1920s board game. Um, it's like a precursor to uh, Monopoly, I think. Might even be a precursor to Shoots and Ladders. As much as I appreciate, uh, you know, the music, um, you know, we're, we're, we're not a uh, music review channel. That's, you know, it's kind of interesting, but uh, let's, let's get the interview. This song is called Taitoru Dori, Umi Ni Ikuma Deno Wak Safari Tokyo Route Memorial, five minutes to the sea. So I, the CM. Is this the... Oh, it's the TV ad. The commercial. I see. What, what is that? Is this the... Oh, that's the that's the full um, music video. I thought we were clicking on the seashell, but we're clicking on the car to do that. Well, uh, if I do this, then this happens. Lyrics by Chisato... Moritaka, composition by uh, Toshinoba Kubota, arrangement by Yasuaki Mejima. I can, I can click on the, I can just click it to stop it moving. Weird. Let's, I guess, return to the menu. And it looks like there is uh, yeah, a couple music videos in here. We'll just watch the commercials, I think. Let's see the commercial. She's sort of got like a, um, like a vibe to it. What's that French movie? You know the one. If I Google that French movie, that French movie with the girl. Amelie. Yeah, that's the one. She, she's sort of striking some Amelie kind of vibes, right? Am I wrong? A little bit of that uh, manic pixie dream girl, but a little bit more traditional, maybe. He's just kind of quirky. It's an interview. え、この曲はすごく元気になってもらいたいなと思って元気づける曲を作ろうと思って作りました。そしてこのプロモーションビデオは、え、実際、え、ロケかなと思われがちなんですけれども、スタジオで撮影したものです。Yeah, that's for sure. Everything she just said. 
So it looks like not all of these have music videos. At least this one doesn't seem to have a music video. If there's a sizable amount of video content on this disc. Music Inc. Apparently, I'm not gonna watch all the interviews, but I, I mean, the commercial's not too bad, at least. Okay, there's not that many more. Let's see. Let's ma. Was it Let's Maritica? Let's. Is it Let's Moritaka? I've noticed her dance skills have mostly, uh, you know, it's mostly stuck to a two-step at best. She's not a dancer, is what I'm noticing. Just sort of shuffles back and forth. Which is not to say that's a problem. You know, it's obviously part of her brand is not that she's a very athletic or anything. She's just kind of like a girl next door kind of character. So you can see it here too. She's also just sort of swaying back and forth. Not a lot, uh, not a lot else going on in terms of her choreography. I thought the, the most interesting part of the choreography was just her playing with the car, like driving it up and down the refrigerator and stuff. That's very playful and childlike. You know, something a child would probably do. Can we look at this one? I don't remember if I skipped this one on the way through. Yeah, we looked at this one. Well, you know, I feel relatively satisfied that, um, you know, we, we've seen what there is to see here. That's kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if I would uh, recommend any of this music, though. You know, if this is the best she's got. It's, you know, it's fine, it's catchy. If you don't speak Japanese, the lyrics aren't going to do anything for you. And if the lyrics aren't doing anything for you, then the music is just kind of, kind of basic. I'm not, I'm not a music reviewer though, so you don't got to take my word for it. But you know, I thought it was kind of an interesting uh, experience to check out. Didn't know really what this was going in, and now I think we know what it was, and that's all we were trying to accomplish. So, yeah, I guess we'll call it here. I'll see you in the next video.